Onondaga, NY, two Onondaga County Sheriff's detectives followed the crack of gunshots to a Syracuse gas station, where they spotted three teens shooting from a car. Detectives Brian Hart and Mark Grady boxed in the car and stopped the suspects from getting away. No one was injured and the charges lodged against the teens were later upgraded to attempted murder, Sheriff's spokesman Sergeant John Sieber said. They came upon it and did a good job apprehending the individuals, Sieber said. Hart and Grady are among dozens of sheriff's officials who will be honored at an award ceremony at 3 p.m. Tuesday in the Storer Auditorium at Onondaga Community College, 4585 W. Seneca Turnpike in the town of Onondaga. Three civilians also will be honored. Some will be honored for their hard work and dedication, while others will receive recognition for preventing others from getting hurt and saving lives. Here is a list of the honorees, Sheriff's Office Civilian Recognition Award Karen Buck of Camillus will receive the Sheriff's Civilian Employee of the Year Award. Buck is a county employee helps provide health care to inmates at the Onondaga County Justice Center, Hillbrook Detention Center and Jamesville Correctional Facility. James Phillips and Michael Verone, both of Syracuse, will be honored for their devotion to the Sheriff's Office Navigation Unit. Both men volunteer to drive deputies on boats and offer their expertise to deputies. They help with boat safety inspections and to deter boating while intoxicated on the waterways. They help us out quite a bit, Sieber said. Sheriff's Office Community Service Award Assistant Chief Kathleen Ford, Deputy Nicole Gill, Deputy Patricia K. Tharp and Sergeant Rose Alva Spaulding will be honored for participating in a variety of programs and initiatives that maintained a positive interactive relationship among the diverse public, commercial, and professional service community. Deputy Kathleen Vickers will be honored for her contributions and commitment to Special Olympics. Sheriff's Office Certificate of Merit Lieutenant Peter Batista, Deputy James B. Kimper, Correction Officer Ryan Drake and Senior Correction Officer Paul Thorne were on their way home from work when they came across a car crash on Interstate 481 near Fayetteville. They stopped and provided first aid to the driver, who was bleeding and disoriented. Senior Correction Officer Alton Henson too had stopped at a gas station on his way to work when he performed CPR on someone. The person survived, Sieber said. Detective Brian Hart recovered many guns and drugs off the streets. He will be recognized for his overall job performance. Deputy Joseph Kelly and Deputy Douglas Roser were serving papers to a person who fell unconscious due to medical issues. The deputies used an external rub technique to help the person gain consciousness during the medical emergency. Deputy Douglas Roser had gone to a home in the town of Clay to serve civil papers when he noticed a fire in the landscaping. He immediately grabbed a fire extinguisher from his vehicle and put out the fire. Deputy Devin Reshko will be recognized for an overall good job performance. Deputy Frank Mancini, Deputy Louis Trapasso and Deputy Christopher Van Dusen stopped an inmate at the Onondaga County Justice Center from committing suicide earlier this year. After the inmate cut himself with a shaving razor, the deputies improvised and used a makeshift tourniquet to control the bleeding. Detective Shannon Ray stopped to help what she thought was a disabled vehicle on Route 690 North in Van Buren. After she stopped, the driver told Ray that she had stopped the car after her son threatened to kill himself. When she stopped, the man jumped out of the car and began walking along Route 690 toward a bridge over the Seneca River. She called for backup. Medal of Valor Deputy Tyler Myers responded to Detective Ray's call the night for a suicidal man on Route 690 North. 
Myers spotted the man standing on the bridge railing over the Seneca River. The man threatened to jump, then swung his other leg over the bridge. The deputy immediately lunged toward the man, grabbed him and pulled him to safety. The man is alive today. Deputy Matthew Carey, Deputy John Fuller and Sergeant David Mason built a report and trust with a suicidal man armed with a gun in the woods earlier this year in Pompey. Carey gained control of the man's gun and no one was hurt. The man is alive today. Onondaga County Sheriff Eugene Conway, Center, Department Spokesman John Sieber, left and capped. Dan Brogan look on during a news conference last year. Glenn Point, G. Coin at Syracuse.com Charles A. Florchick Sr. Award for Investigative Excellence This new award is named after a retired sheriff's detective who died in 2016, Sieber said. This year's recipient is capped. Daniel Brogan, the Criminal Investigations Division Commander for the Sheriff's Office. Brogan will be honored for his long-standing, exemplary leadership and management of criminal investigations, while displaying character, integrity and determination, medals of distinction LT. Jamie Bloomer, Lt. Paul Brennan, Sergeant James Farley, Assistant Chief Kathleen Ford and Deputy Timothy White will be recognized for their professionalism and loyalty. Medal of Honor Detectives Brian Hart and Mark Grady, both assigned to The Give Gun Involved Violence Elimination Unit will be honored for their actions last September during the shots fired incident outside the gas station at Shonard and Geddes Streets while patrolling the streets of Syracuse.